welcome to this week's episode. This week we will be cooking kale salad with warm cranberry almond vinaigrette. I'm not very good at making salads. So I decided since it's summer, I don't want to eat as many like hot things because they make me hot and in the summer I like to cool down like most people. So I'm, that's why I chose a salad. I am getting rid of whole berry cranberry sauce. So we need three tablespoons olive oil divided. Grapeseed oil should be fine. One shallot, peeled and thinly sliced. I've never bought a shallot in my life. So I bought a shallot and I'm gonna hope it's good. Three cloves garlic. As usual, I'm gonna use my garlic in extra virgin olive oil. One cup dried cranberries, two tablespoons red wine vinegar, two teaspoons honey, juice and zest, of half a lemon, one eighth teaspoon salt, and an eighth teaspoon black pepper. One bunch kale, very slim, thi one bunch kale, very thinly sliced. A fourth cup sliced almonds. One fourth cup crumpled blue cheese or goat cheese. Crumpled blue uh, goat cheese. I'm probably never gonna buy blue, blue cheese again. Not that I don't like it. I just, I, just, I don't, you know, I just don't think I should have it in my refrigerator. So we're going to start by thinly, thinly slicing the kale. But I don't know if I keep the little stemmies on the sides or not. Thank you, by the way, to Jason who helped me at the store pick out my kale because I was looking like an idiot and trying to find the right kale because there are like, I don't know, there were like four different kales to choose from. And I'm like, dude, kale is kale, right? He was very nice and helped me out. When I first moved here to Los Angeles, I thought like the only kale was like the juicing kale. The juicing kale always came with the butts. Like so many butts, like the stem. And I was like, this is so disgusting. So I stopped buying it. Therefore, I stopped eating kale. But now that I found this stuff, I'm probably actually gonna start eating kale. Okay, now that that's like the kale's ready to go, now I'm actually gonna start following instructions. First, I guess I should probably peel and thinly slice the shallot. So when I watched the guy check if the shallot was like good, he ripped it apart. That doesn't seem to be working. Oh. How do I open this? Oh, are there two shallots in one? Oh, that's interesting. I'm just gonna chop this so it's, whoa, that's a, no, we want that smaller. I will give shallots this. They're much easier to cut than onions. For some reason, I thought shallots would like smell better than like a normal onion. Heat two tablespoons of oil in a large saute pan. Add shallot and saute for at least five minutes. Does saute mean just like move it back and forth so it doesn't burn? Oh, this looks like it's supposed to, I think. Okay, I think these are tender. It says five minutes, but they feel pretty tender. So I might just throw the garlic in now. garlic is sauteed. Add cranberries, red wine vinegar, honey, and lemon juice. Uh, I could have sworn it called for cranberry sauce. We're gonna make it call for cranberry sauce. So maybe, huh. the other recipes I was looking at called for one third cup cranberry sauce. This cranberry sauce is already sweetened so I don't want to make it too sweet. I can't believe I did that wrong. In a large bowl toss the kale with olive oil and an extra pinch of salt. <gasps> that was a lot of olive oil and it says I'm supposed to massage for one minute. I've never massaged kale. Maybe that's why my kale never tasted good. I don't know how to massage kale. Okay, I'm just kind of treating it like a like my back. I guess. Ooh, but I feel it. Like the kale is getting much uh, softer. Ah! I'm not one to open plastic with my teeth. It's like 
like, oh my gosh, what if I choke on it? I'm just gonna put a few cranberries in. Gonna put some almonds in. I guess we're gonna put some dressing on. Hope this doesn't ruin it. Ooh, oh, goat cheese is not very, okay. I didn't realize goat cheese was so thick. I feel like I need more greens in my life. Okay, let's make sure we get everything in one bite. Cranberry sauce, where's my goat cheese? I want some goat cheese. Okay. I cannot complain. I'm glad I messed it up. I'm sure the one on the site is probably healthier. They just have the dried cranberries in it, and here I have like the goat cheese and the dried cranberries and the extra sugar from the cranberry sauce. If you want. Okay. And I like that the sauce is warm. So we just got a big block of goat cheese. So if I save it, if the kale will like wilt and get soggy like other vegetables will, I don't think it will. Because kale's like really, really Course. Next week, we are probably going to be getting rid of the rest of this cranberry sauce, and I won't be making another salad. And I'll see you next week on Cooking with Paige. Bye.